Hey guys, welcome back to the Game Boys channel. My name is Tim, and today I have a few different mystery blind boxes to open. I do have the Little Mermaid Funko mystery minis. So these are the ones that you can get. Two or three different Ariels, two Ursulas, a flounder, Sebastian, and Prince Eric. And then I do have six boxes of these Disney Lounge Fly. They were at Box Lunch, the um, Disney villain kind of like staple, like the staff, the evil mirror. These are the ones you can get. There's nine pins in this collection. I do want all of these. Actually, the one um, I could probably do without would be the one with Hades, because it just looks like a weird mushroom, right? <laughs> I don't know, that's weird. Okay, so um, I do want to get started with the um, Funko Mystery Minis of The Little Mermaid. So what's interesting about this is they are technically mystery minis, but they do have a window that tells you what characters in the front of it. So I decided to take a chance and just order a bunch online, thinking, you know, it's a mystery because I'm not going to know the ones that they choose for me. And like, I thought maybe I just wouldn't open the box and then I would just kind of like blindly grab, but I was pleasantly surprised, so I looked in my box and they actually put them in cardboard boxes, which you can't see, and then when you open it, they turned it face down. So it's basically a mystery box, which I'm super excited about because I don't like the way that they do it this way. It just kind of like ruins a little bit of the fun. They did do the Winnie the Pooh versions like that also. And I probably would have ended up getting them if they were in like the normal traditional box where you cannot see in it. So I would say that this risk paid off because I'm super excited. I really want a all of these actually. Um, I would say though that there was a version of this that came out. It was the Disney Funko Mystery Minis of the princesses and they had their sidekicks. So I do have, this flounder looks very similar to the other one that I got. So it's like a little different facial expression, um, but this is the one from the old set. I mean, it's cute, you know. And then I'll show you actually the Ariel from the old set. and um, the Ursula from the old set, but this was the vi villain's one. So um, I'll show the box again, just so you can kind of see, but um, the Ariel is different because she has a handbag <laughs> and then there's obviously the wedding dress and then the pink dress. The Ur Ursula one is actually a little different. She has her arms out and then the bottom one, obviously she has King Triton's um, crown and scepter. So I would say they're a little bit different, so I was okay with getting them again. If I do get them, I'll put a side-by-side -side of the ones that kind of look similar. Okay, so I did get five boxes of these because that's what they limit to you on Box Lunch's website. So, <laughs> like it's just so easy, like you look at the window, I see who I got. Um, so I got Ursula, this Ursula with um, King Triton's staff and crown. So I'll take it out of the box, obviously, because um, I'm not an inbox collector. Let me know down below if you guys are inbox collectors or out of the box. Sometimes like we'll keep the box if it's pretty, but we don't leave the figurines in here. Oh my God, actually, this backer card is, Actually, everything. I actually will probably keep this. Isn't that cool? All right, so this is Ursula up close. I really like this. Like her earrings. So I really like the detail on this. Yay. 
And they are the same exact sizes as the other ones, but I'll do like a side by side at the end. Okay, so this is a blind opening. Whoa! <laughs> I love that they face them down. Okay, we have. <gasps> Yay! Sebastian. <laughs> oh, he looks so cute. It's cool because there wasn't a Sebastian in the first set, so I actually kind of hope I don't get flounder, so then I'll have like all of them. I really want an Eric because there wasn't an Eric in the other set. Oh, and he has <laughs> the little conductor wand, like when he's doing that big musical number. Oh, this is really cool. I'm excited about this. So I am actually curious to see, like, since people put them in these boxes, if they, like, take into consideration, like, not giving you duplicates or not. So that's kind of... Oh, this one was face up. So I just answered my own question. Obviously, they don't care. Oh, so I do have another Sebastian. So, um... This will be good to like give away because these boxes are really cool for collectors also. Ooh, I was really hoping no duplicates. That's okay. So I do have two boxes left. I really, really want an Eric and an Ariel. Then I'll be like, ha, yay! So we have Ariel in her wedding gown. Oh, these are cute. And I actually really like that they went back to like the old, kind of like looking like children, but not like creepy. And like their eyes are bigger. Some of the ones that they make like when their faces are too skinny. I don't know, I feel like it looks weird. Oh yes. So this is Ariel up close. What I really like about this is look at her veil. It's like a translucent, like, really cool f material. Oh, this is awesome. Yay. Okay, so I have one left. If I don't get a Prince Eric, I'm probably gonna end up buying more of these. Never fails. Oh, I didn't get Eric. But I did get one that I don't have. So this is Ariel with her little handbag. Oh, this is cute. Oh my god, that's creepy. It looked like her hand was bitten off. I'll show you. So this is her up close. And like, I, I don't know if I could get that close, but like, could you see her hand? It's just like nubby. <laughs> That's weird. But I like this. So I'm going to show you. So this is the first version that came out. And then this is her now. They kind of gave her a tan. <laughs> and then they made her longer. Oh, and I can't show. Oh, wait. I was going to say, I can't show the flounder because I didn't get another one of him. But so these are. This is the first edition of Ursula and then this is a new one they did kind of make her like eyes bigger and she looks more sinister <laughs> so all in all I would say they're really not that bad <laughs> if anyone gets that reference let me know so yeah overall I would say I'm pretty pleased with that so I only am looking for one more, so not mad at ya. Okay, so next let's get right into these Disney Lounge Fly pins. I did show the box. There's a quick glance at it again. So I did open one of these before and I got the Magic Mirror. So that's him up close. So out of these, I would say the top one that I want would be Jafar's staff. The least one, like I said before, would probably be the Hades one, just because it looks kind of funky to me. 
So again, you have your little black baggies. I'm not gonna feel just because that kind of ruins the fun. Oh, fun! This is the spindle from Sleeping Beauty. This is cool. Where Aurora pricks her finger. Maleficence. Oh, this is fun. I like these a lot, and the detail is really nice. So I do have six boxes of these, so I'm hoping I don't get too many duplicates. <laughs> so I got the one I said I didn't really want. So this is the Hades one. I don't know, it just looks weird. Maybe I need to rewatch this movie, but I'm like not even really understanding what it's supposed to be. Let me know in the comments if it's like a variation of him or like a logo. Because I'm kind of blanking on it right at this moment. <laughs> oh. My first duplicate. So I got another spindle. So I will have that up for trade. Um. I'm hoping, really, really hoping for the staff, but... <gasps> yes! I was like, this does not feel like it, but oh my god, it is! It's Jafar's little staff. This is so cool. And like those evil red eyes. He's gonna hypnotize you, beware. <laughs> so I will show them on my little board at the end so you get a closer view of all the details also. Um, really wanting the hook. So, so I do have another duplicate of the magic mirror. So that one will be in my traders also. Last baggie. Oh, it's not a duplicate. I do have a pin that kind of looks like this. Um, so it's the Yzma's Potion. So this one is fun. It's, um, you have the little llama on there. So this one's cool. It's a little bit different than the one that I have, um, cause that was like a double tube. All right, so here's a close up of the pins. So these are actually really neat. I might keep this one, I don't know yet. So then these are my two traders. So if you guys are collecting any of these or want any of these and have traders, I'm willing to look at anything because as you guys know, I'm pretty pin obsessed. I did actually find this at Hot Topic. I thought it was so cool just because I'm really into like the VHS artwork. and So it's like a little mini VHS of the Lion King. And then you have like a Hakuna Matata pin. So you open it up and then here's the pin up close. And I thought that was adorable. And it's like a, ooh, that was not cute. <laughs> so I thought that was adorable. And this is actually really good quality for like the pin. So that's the pin up close. And then it's like, on top of that, you get this awesome little miniature VHS case. I'm hoping they do this for like every movie because collecting these would be amazing. I do have some of the journal notebooks, but I mean, they're kind of big. So like, this is like perfect display. So please make more, <laughs> loving it. All right, so let me know. Um, if you are collecting any of the mystery Funkos from The Little Mermaid or which one was your favorite. And then also with the pins, um, let me know if you're collecting those or if you are interested in any of my two duplicates. All right, as always, thank you guys for watching. All right, see you later. Bye.